Morning, hon. Here's your breakfast for today. Mom, do you have eyes? I can't eat this. I didn't pick that. Your soulmate did. Ugh, that's disgusting. Can I just eat something else? No, you're only allowed to eat what they choose for you. Do you have a pencil I can borrow? No. Damn, I was just asking for a pencil. Sorry, I'm so hangry. My soulmate didn't give me any breakfast. That sucks. Mine gave me a charcuterie board. Um, is that a jar of mayo? It's not even regular mayo. It's the vegan kind. Maybe they're a vegan. I'm not eating a jar of mayo for lunch. Does this kid hate me? Can I have it? I love mayo. Ew. Come on, at least give me a side or something. Are you kidding me? Minced garlic? Bro thinks I'm a vampire. You don't like garlic? I eat it with a spoon. You can have it. Weirdo. They haven't even given me any water. Who cares? I only drink Dr. Pepper. I don't care about the rules. I need water now. No, don't do that. What? What's gonna happen? You can only eat what they choose forever now. Here's your <sighs> breakfast, sweetie. Finally, this bagel isn't moldy. Oh, just kidding. It actually is. I'm starving. What if I just keep ignoring what they tell me to eat? I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wish I got a shark coochie board. Sticking out your gut for the Rizzler. What are you singing? Please stop. It hurts my ears. Sorry, have you got any real food yet? No, they're definitely trying to kill me off. Good, you're so annoying. I think this is uncooked pasta. You should try it. Maybe it's good. Mm. No way, dude, I was just kidding. Why can't you just ignore your soulmate and eat whatever you want? My mom told me not to. Aw, do you always listen to what your mommy tells you? No. Ugh, refried beans, come on. Mmm, I'd slurp those up with a straw. I can't do this anymore. Give me one of those grapes. No, haven't you learned anything? Why does it taste like that? It switches your taste buds. Great. I have to find them so that they'll give me real food before it's too late. Good luck. You have nothing to go off of. I don't know, my arm is starting to look real tasty. No, your breakfast is here. Mom, this is a can of cat food. Yeah, but there's cheddar in it. You're married, how did you and dad find each other? It took many, many years. I can't wait that long. The only way to find out is to break into the factory. I've never committed a crime, but there's a first time for everything, thanks. More cat food? What is wrong with you? Excuse me, do you need something? Hi, I'm here for a uh, maintenance checkup. Oh, go right on in. That was way too easy. Hey, what are you doing back here? Stay back. Are you threatening me with a bottle of Febreze? I need to find out who my soulmate is. That's what everyone says who doesn't want to do the work. They haven't fed me in days. Why didn't you say that? That's illegal. Looks like your soulmate is Jack Smith. Jack? That little bitch. Jack, I need to talk to you right now. Oh, hey, have you met my new girlfriend, Macy? Your girlfriend? I've been feeding her five course meals all week. So just curious, what have you been giving to your soulmate then? The trash from whatever my girlfriend has. If you don't mind, we're gonna go eat some Wagyu. That's like a hundred dollars a piece. My princess deserves the best. So, did you tell him? No, I didn't tell him. I don't want him. Can I just like switch soulmates? No, dude, you can't. A single peanut? What am I, a squirrel? At least it's edible. This is the only real food he's given me in days. You need to do something. Wait, I should trick him. Seriously, can't you just tell him like a normal person? No. Hey, Macy, are you allergic to anything by chance? I'm super allergic to peanuts. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Bye. Jack, I have something to tell you. It's so important. Sure, what's up? Your girlfriend just told me she loves peanut butter. It's her favorite thing ever. I didn't know. Thank you for telling me. <gasps> yes, it worked. This is the best day of my life. You're insane. Hey, I need to talk to you right now. I'm kind of busy. You set me up. I did not set you up. You told me that she loves peanut butter. That's what she said. She's deathly allergic to it. Oh, I must have misheard her. Sorry. Are you insane? Where'd you even get that peanut the butter? The grocery store? Yeah, right. You were mocking me because you've always had a crush on me. I do not like you. Ugh, everyone likes me. You are so delusional. It's honestly brave. Whatever. That peanut butter wasn't enough. I'm still hungry. You should get lunch in a sec. Where's my food? Uh, there's nothing there. Nothing? I didn't even know you were allowed to do that. How long can humans go for without food? I think it's like two hours or something. You just need to talk to him. Don't you think it's a little late for that? There must be another way. There is no other way. With a magic potion, you can turn the table so you choose what he Who eats. Who are you? I'm no one. Bye. Maybe I should listen to her. Are you insane? You're probably hallucinating. What is this? It's the potion the old lady was talking about before. But why is it brown and chunky? No balls. You won't drink it. What did she say? Wait, dude, I was kidding. How did it taste? Oh my god, that was foul. Wait, it worked? Maybe the old lady was real and you weren't hallucinating. <laughs> I get to pick for him now. That was so worth it. You almost threw up. Soulmate eats raw fish or a hamburger. 
<laughs> You're not getting good food. Dog food or broccoli? This one's payback for the cat food. Come on, don't you think that's a little harsh? Like I haven't been starving for the past couple days? You're gonna make him sick. Good. Jack, could you answer number four for the class? Oh, I... Ew. I'm so sorry, my soulmate's been giving me rotten food all day. Dude, I told you. You have to give him water, he was throwing up. Do I though? Yes, that's like really bad. No, I don't think I'm done yet. Jack, if your soulmate is putting you in danger, you can report it as an emergency. Then the turns will restore. You can what? Yeah, she is putting me in danger. No one told me that. I mean, you did trust a random old grandma. Emergency reported, shit. You've dug yourself a hole this time. I can't starve for the rest of my life. I need my Chick-fil-A. Seriously, that's what you're worried about? Just go tell him. Okay, fine. Jack, you need to think about your soulmate. Why should I? She was trying to kill me. Because if you keep not giving her any food, she could die. Good. I hope she does. I don't want her. Actually, I'm going to send her her lunch right now. No, don't pick anything. Why shouldn't I send my soulmate lunch? Because you should just give her nothing. You just told me to feed her. I changed my mind. You know, she was trying to kill you, so just don't give her any food at all. Yeah, you're right. Dude, what was that? I panicked, okay? I can help you. Listen, Grandma, last time you did this, it got flipped around even worse. I don't trust you, and that potion tasted like shit. That's what it was made of. Spray this on him and he'll fall in love with you. This is just a Bath & Body Works spray. But it's magical. Jack, you should really try some of this. It'll smell good on you. Ew, stop. Wait, you're actually really pretty. Oh, thanks. I should break up with my girlfriend and date you. Um, I just want you to give your soulmate real food. I'll do whatever you want. So, did it work? Oh, it definitely worked. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, my God, where did you come from? I followed you. Can I have a kiss? I would rather drink gasoline. Ew, why am I so close to you? What? I forgot to mention it only lasts 10 minutes. Girl, this is why I don't trust you. Why are you so close to me? Because I'm your soulmate. No, you're not. Why are you lying to me right now? What? No, I'm not lying. I wouldn't be your soulmate if we were the last two people on Earth. You can't ignore the soulmate system. I don't care what the system says. Yeah, because your plan worked out so much better than mine. You got scammed by a grandma twice. What is that? Is this a pill? Yeah, Sherlock, good one. You should take it. Are you crazy? I think he's actually trying to kill me off now. You have no idea what it even is. Ew, this is like a rotting Starbucks drink. It's because you pissed him off so bad. This isn't fair. Why do I get a shitty soulmate? Mine gives me steak for dinner. Hello, ladies. First of all, whose grandma is this? You need to be on a leash. I know some information. No, we're not doing this again. It's about who your soulmate is. I know who my soulmate is. I forgot to tell you that he is not your soulmate. One night, I just decided that I hated all of my clothing, so I bought a bunch of stuff from Princess Polly. Let's do a try-on haul, and no, I am not naked. Actually, the dress that I currently have on is from this haul. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> I really like it. I'm just built like a rectangle, so it kind of throws me off. I also got this green dress, which is super cute, but I will not be moving my hands because I'm not doing that for free. I'm just kidding. You're literally never going to see that. I feel like a flower girl about to walk down the aisle. I look like I'm going on a very sweet, wholesome picnic. This shirt looks a little bit boring from the front, but from the back, it's a party. I also realized that I didn't own a single vest, so I had to get one. Honestly, I kind of like these two together. The skirt makes me feel like a little Polly Pocket. I can do it. I can do it. Oh my god, I did it. Okay, but why does it fit perfectly now that it's actually over my legs? I need my mini skirts to be the size of a belt. I got a blazer because I did not own any basic pieces at all. Cute. I kind of look like I went into my dad's suit closet, but that's okay. I also got a three-piece set, but I already wore it, so I'm just going to insert a picture of it now. Slay! Okay, bye. Hey little sis, did you get your choices? Yeah, it says loser or popular. You should pick loser. I heard that they ride roller coasters for a living. Really? That sounds like so much fun. You should pick it. Okay, I'm convinced. Hey sis. Mom, did you hear that? I think I just heard a little rat. Ugh, you're so funny. Honey, be nice to your sister. Absolutely not. Today we have a new student and you have to give him a tour. <laughs> Why would I do that? You need the volunteer hour since you spray painted a penis in the back of the school. So where is he? Right there. His name is Hunter. He works as a male model. Ha, huh, no kidding. This is the best day of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. What did you say? Oh, I said welcome to the school. Over there is the cafeteria. Here is a library. And then over here. Hey, who's this cutie with you? This is my sister. Hi, I'm the head cheerleader. Why don't I give you a tour instead? Haven't you done enough? Can we just have one second in private? Yeah, of course. Stay away from him, he's mine. You wanna try me? Yeah, I do actually. I bet I can get him before you. Fine. Hey, can I touch your wiener? Um, I'm I'm sorry, what what did you just say to me? The dog. Oh yeah, of course. 
Hey, you gave me the tour today. Are you stalking me or something? No, you left behind your bag and the address is on it. Right. Sorry. Thank you. Of course. See you later. Wait up. Do you want to sit with me at lunch tomorrow? I don't really have any friends here yet. Yeah, I would love to. Good morning, sis. You know, has anyone ever told you that you really resemble a roach? What did you say? I was busy looking at your mustache. Hey, can I sit here? Hey, yeah, sit. Hunter, you should really come sit with me and my cheerleader friends instead. Nah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna stay here. Uh, what? <laughs> you heard him. He's sitting here. Bye. Fine, whatever. Well, she seems like a delight. Yeah, I'm sorry. She is a menace. I can tell. Bailey, you need to come to the office with us now. What? I haven't done anything in like a while. We know the spray paint was you. There's been a mistake. That was not me. Come with us now. No questions. Okay, what is it this time? Whenever a thunderstorm is really scary, you go sleep with your mommy again. What? No, I don't. I have never told anyone that. Don't repeat it. I already put it on Twitter. Oh, of course you did. How did you know that? I know the weirdest thing about everyone. Oh, it's time to expose people. Bailey looking hideous per usual. You have a crush on the red Teletubby. Yeah, and what about it? Red is hot and they're so slim thick. I'm not embarrassed by anything. You fart so badly in your sleep that the rest of your family has to wear a gas mask. Oh, is that why it smells so bad gross. in here? Leave my boyfriend alone. You haven't brushed your teeth in five years. I brushed them with Dr. Pepper. You must be a witch to know all of this. You buy used women's underwear off of Craigslist. I get them for a good deal. Are you a psychic or something? When you're low on money, you sell your bathtub water to old men on the internet. You'd be surprised how much money I make. What about me? What do you got? You have a crush on your sister. Uh, she's my stepsister. Blood related. Sweet Ew, home what Alabama. The fuck? Why are you so weird? The last thing you searched was how to tell if you're pregnant. <gasps> Don't tell anyone that. I was just paranoid, okay? Today she's Google, apparently. Right, I don't believe that. The last thing you looked up was, is this a rash or an STD? My balls were red and itchy. I had to find out. I still don't believe you. What did I search yesterday? You searched up, is it illegal to have a crush on your own mom? Ew, is your mom the one who gave you the rash? No, no. Hey, what about me? You looked up, why am I attracted to my own dog? No, I didn't. That was a typo. I knew you looked at that dog weird. She's just making these up. The last thing you searched was porn. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Hub. Ew. Ew. Whoa. What a freak. Is that why you were in the bathroom Ew, during so the long? school day? Could you tell me my search history? You looked up how to get away with murder. And I was thinking about you while I did it. I have had enough with you. Please be normal. The reason your parents split up is because your dad slept with the pool boy. Honestly, I don't blame him. The pool boy was hot. Did you do the math homework? You stole a pair of socks from your ex-girlfriend and you smell them every night before bed. That's where my favorite pair of socks went? Ew! If you're so smart, why do you have no emotion? You're sexually attracted to SpongeBob. I just like his square shape, okay? Do you ever have any regular thoughts? You're an iPad kid that still watches Coco Melon. I just think it's entertaining. I just wanted to let you know you're like really annoying everyone. The reason your hamster died is because you tried to get him to do a backflip but actually chucked him out the window. You're the one who killed Hamantha? I cannot believe you killed my hamster. You sell feet pics. I need my Starbucks money. Feet pics are a good business. You buy her feet pics. She has pretty toes. Hey girl, how are you? You set the house on fire because you didn't like your dad's new girlfriend and she died in it. I also set the school on fire, so run. I can be adopted by a billionaire or a baker. Hey, what does billionaire mean? It must be someone who has like a billion friends. Wow, okay. Oh my, why have they given me a clearance child? And what are you wearing? I don't know. Go put this on this instant. This seems fancy. Yes, well, it's better than the Walmart clothes you're wearing. Much better. And this is our butler, Gerald. He'll take care of whatever you want. You have to give me anything I ask for? Yes, miss, that's right. Can I have an electric guitar? Yes, I will get on that right now. Here you go, one electric guitar. Sweet, thank you. So, what do you do for a job? Uh, I run a very big business. What kind of business? This is not bonding time. You don't need to know. I will not answer any personal questions about myself. Now go sit down for dinner. The private chef has made a five-course meal. For dinner tonight, we're having escargot. Isn't that like the bottom of a plane? Oh my, no, that's cargo. Escargot is snails. Snails? I don't want to eat snails. Then you may have some caviar instead. What's caviar? Well, it's fish eggs. Do you guys have, like, chicken tenders? No, of course we do not have chicken tenders. Bro, you're seriously eating a snail right now. Good for you, Slay. We're going to need a tutor to fix your grammar immediately. What's wrong with how I talk? You sound like you have three brain cells total. 
Tomorrow you will be starting at a private school. Cool. At my old school, one of the teachers got arrested for money laundering. Okay, let's not repeat that again. It's a school for the rich and talented. Every person there is gifted. I am neither of those things. This will be your uniform. There's a uniform? Of course there's a uniform. It's a private school. I'm gonna look like a dork. That's great. I hope so. You look so much better. I look silly. Well, that's because you didn't button it up all the way. See, isn't that great? This is worse. Now, now, we have to get going. Class, this is our new student, Bailey. Hey, guys. Hey, isn't your father crazy, Mr. Carlson? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He seems pretty nice to me. Do you know what he does for work? He won't tell me anything about his job. Yeah, because he does super illegal things. My father gave me Wagyu when I asked for escargot. Can anyone trade? Mm, no, I can't. How about you, new girl? I have a Lunchable for lunch. Anyway, have you been down into your basement yet? Basement? Yeah, dude, everyone is always talking about what he keeps down there. No, I didn't even know that we had one. You need to go down there and tell us about all the crazy things. Like what? I'm assuming you had a great first day of school. It was fine, I guess. Have you made any worthy friends? You could say that. Can I ask you something? Of course, as long as it's not about my job. Well... No, you are not allowed to know any information about my job. I cannot tell you. Why can't I know? You're my dad. It's hard to explain, but it's none of your business, okay? You are forbidden from asking me any more questions about my job. Fine, I got it. I have to find out where that basement is. I've checked every door in here and none of them lead to a basement. Did that bookshelf just move? No way, this is a secret entrance to the basement? I mean, he's still in his room. What the hell is all this? What are you doing down here? Uh, it's forbidden. I was looking for a bathroom. California is not a country. Then why is it built like one? A million dollars now or a hundred dollars every time I blink? I'm not really good at math, but I do know how to blink. Um, dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Stop that. Your eyes are freaking me out. Seriously, please. Fine, I'll stop for a while. Why were you blinking like that? I don't know. I think I got something in my eye. It was really bad. No, no, please don't start doing it again. Oh my god, I'm so scared of you. <sighs> Guys, I think she's possessed. Back, I say, back! Okay, okay, damn. Finally, please do not blink like that. I blink so many times, I think that I forgot how to blink. Don't be dramatic, <sighs> I know how to blink. Oh, I'm rich. Ugh, my mouth tastes like salmon. Who eats fish for breakfast? Oh my god, I don't think that's fair. Why are you <laughs> chugging water like a toddler? Are you okay? No! I think my soulmate's doing something that I really don't want to be a part of. What could they possibly be doing? Never mind. I thought this was cherry. Why does it taste alcoholic? Who does shots at 2 p.m., bro? Get a grip! <coughs> oh my. Please don't tell me that was the devil's lettuce. Is my soulmate Chuck Bass? I'm so confused. Your soulmate is really putting you through it, huh? I am going through it, and I'm afraid of what's next. My soulmate just ate mochi. It was so good. Oh, this one's really weird. It tastes like um, like metal a little bit. Why would they eat metal? Oh my god! Sis, did you forget to flush the toilet again? It stinks! She's not even home. What is that? Do they live on a farm? Oh, why does it smell like that? I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the day. Hey guys, what's up? Dude, why are you plugging your nose like that? You don't wanna know. You can't just hold your nose for the rest of the day. Yes, I can, and I will. I won't talk to you if you keep doing that. Ugh, I regretted that immediately. What are you freaking out about? It smells like pee. It's not your soulmate's fault. They're probably just walking outside. But I have to deal with it too. Not the fish again. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're a freak. What the f I can't do this anymore. Ah, why is it spicy? You are being so dramatic. I'm gonna throw up. Headphones, what? I don't want these. Wait, did these let me hear what my soulmate is hearing? I love being nosy. The total today for your hemorrhoid cream is 100. I don't think I was supposed to hear that conversation. Maybe it'll be better this time. Bro, did you ever get that crazy rash on your ass figured out? I think I'm gonna put these away. My soulmate was looking at engagement rings for me. An engagement ring? But you haven't even met yet. I heard him tell the seller he was buying it for his soulmate. So has your soulmate said anything fun? 
I don't know, I haven't put them on yet. Are you crazy? Put them on right now. Mm. You have to hear what they're doing. Okay. Oh yeah, baby, that's the spot. Ah! What, what were they saying? Is it bad? I gotta go, I'm gonna go wash out my ears with bleach. And that's why I think Grimace should run for president. That was the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Everyone bullies me or everyone flirts with me. Honestly, I wanna know what they have to say about me. Hey, do you have a pencil I could borrow? Yeah, you can take this one and shove it right up your ass, you dumb fucking bitch. Okay, thanks. I've literally seen toes that are prettier than you. Toes don't even have a face. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever thought about the world ending? Uh, no. If we were the last two people on Earth and had to repopulate, I would just let everyone die instead. I gotta give it to them. They're definitely clever. Hey, I heard you've been making music. Yeah, I have. It was so bad, it made me want to rip my ears off of my head and put them into a blender. Hey, Bailey. What? You should put this brown paper bag on your head so we don't have to look at your ugly face anymore. Guess the song for $10 million? I'm gonna be so good at this. 90% of my brain is song lyrics. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. <gasps> I just heard this. It was in the Barbie movie. It has to be Barbie World. Yes, I am totally gonna win. You have a peanut brain. There's no way you can win. Yeah, you wanna bet? Yeah, whoever loses has to clean the entire house for a year. Deal. 100 bands of chanel -y. What? Is that like a kind of pasta? Oh my god, why are you shaking your ass? Um, because I'm trying to get famous on TikTok. I'm dancing to Ice Spice's new song. Deli! This is way too easy. At least give me something hard. Why does it feel like I'm never enough? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Oh, runner up! Duh. Won't somebody give me the antidote? I have never heard that before. How am I supposed to guess? Better figure it out or I'll win. Ugh, my mouth tastes like salmon. Who eats fish for breakfast? Oh my god, I don't think that's fair. Why are you chugging water like a toddler? Are you okay? No! I think my soulmate's doing something that I really don't want to be a part of. What could they possibly be doing? Never mind. I thought this was cherry. Why does it taste alcoholic? Who does shots at 2 p.m., bro? Get a grip! <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Please don't tell me that was the devil's lettuce. Is my soulmate Chuck Bass? I'm so confused. Your soulmate is really putting you through it, huh? I am going through it and I'm afraid of what's next. My soulmate just ate mochi. It was so good. Oh, this one's really weird. It tastes like um like metal a little bit. Why would they eat metal? Oh my god! Sis, did you forget to flush the toilet again? It stinks. She's not even home. What is that? Do they live on a farm? Oh, why does it smell like that? I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the day. Hey guys, what's up? Dude, why are you plugging your nose like that? You don't wanna know. You can't just hold your nose for the rest of the day. Yes, I can, and I will. I won't talk to you if you keep doing that. <sighs> I regretted that immediately. What are you freaking out about? It smells like pee. It's not your soulmate's fault. They're probably just walking outside. But I have to deal with it too. Not the fish again. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're a freak. What the f I can't do this anymore. Ah, why is it spicy? You are being so dramatic. I'm gonna throw up. Headphones, what? I don't want these. Wait, did these let me hear what my soulmate is hearing? I love being nosy. The total today for your hemorrhoid cream is 100. I don't think I was supposed to hear that conversation. Maybe it'll be better this time. Bro, did you ever get that crazy rash on your ass figured out? I think I'm gonna put these away. My soulmate was looking at engagement rings for me. An engagement ring? But you haven't even met yet. I heard him tell the seller he was buying it for his soulmate. So has your soulmate said anything fun? I don't know, I haven't put them on yet. Are you crazy? Put them on right now. Mm. You have to hear what they're doing. Okay. Oh yeah, baby, that's the spot. Ah! What, what were they saying? Is it bad? I gotta go, I'm gonna go wash out my ears with bleach. Ew, what is on your face? What? what do you mean? Look at yourself. What is that? Your hand must have slipped while you did eyeliner. I didn't do it. Why would I mess with my nose contour like this? Okay, guys, let's not fight. Your soulmate probably did it. What, did they draw on me in my sleep? No, whatever your soulmate draws on themselves shows up on you too.
and done dude why would you do that it looks so bad it was already bad Hey, Bailey, nice butt chin. What? I do not have a butt chin. You literally have a butt drawn on your chin. Oh, this means war. Let's see how they like that. You spelled regrets wrong. I did. Bailey, what is on your face? Go to the office now. But I didn't even do it. Oh, don't worry. Your counterpart's in the office already. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> really? That's it? Who even cares? It's just hair. This game is such a joke. Sis, can I do something for a task? Yes, but why do you have scissors? I need to cut your hair. Why would you need a piece of my hair? Hmm, I don't know. That's creepy. Why would I do that? I mean, if it wants me to, I will. Where are you going with my hair? Uh, don't worry about it. It's a task. The last 10 are the hardest. Be careful. I'm really not worried about that. DNA results will be back in three days. Okay, thank you. Hi, um, I'm here for my results. You're the girl from three days ago. Come with me to the back. Why? I'll tell you when we're back there. Listen, you are not who you think you are. I'm sorry, I'm not following here. Do you know the story of that lost royal family? Yeah, who doesn't know that story? Your DNA matched up with the queen. What? Don't tell me you think I'm royalty. There is no what if. Your DNA lined up perfectly. Just let me see the test. I cannot give this to you. I'm sorry. Why? I, it's confidential. You just can't have it. But I need it. If I give you this document, you have to rule. Rule what? You have to give up your everyday life and rule all of us as royalty. I guess I really don't have a choice. Do not tell anyone you got that from me. Okay, I won't. Break in. I'm going to get arrested. Thank you. They left the door open? Idiots. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ma'am, what are you doing in here? Um, housekeeping. Yeah, right. Wait, no, please, I can explain. I am a princess. Oh my god, you're right. Your eyes. My eyes? My eyes? What do you mean, my eyes? Come with me right now. We have something to do. Okay. Uh, where are we going? We're going to walk in there and stop the family meeting. Oh, we're going to what? I mean, we can't just barge in. That's like rude, right? No, the crown must go to the rightful ruler. <laughs> Everyone, the lost princess has been found. <laughs> Hi. This is ridiculous. I mean, look at the way she's dressed. She's emo. Who says a princess can't be emo? She's not fit to be royalty with that attitude. But look at the color of her eyes. That can't be. They are almost identical to her mother's. Her mother? Guards, I want this girl out of here, right now. I'm going to overrule you guys. You can't just proclaim things like that. Well, I just did. She's kind of badass. Apparently, I am the rightful ruler, and I want to take that place. That's not going to happen. I don't believe you. I need proof. Fine. Show her my DNA test. But this test says that there's two from the royal bloodline. Two? What do you mean two? Do you have any siblings? Not half ones. Yeah, I have a full sister. There's no way. You both are royalty. What? How is it possible that both of you ended up together? I don't know. We were left on a doorstep. Your sister must agree to rule with you. Mm, there is no way my sister is going to do that. Well, who wouldn't want to be royalty? Her? Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. You must at least try. Okay, but I'm warning you, it's not gonna work. I'll be back in with my sister to overrule you. Whatever, get her out of my sight. Mm. Sis, I have something to tell you. Okay, that didn't sound good. You know how we were adopted? Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, so we're actually part of the lost royal family. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I already knew that. I'm sorry, what do you mean that you already knew? Oh, because we were left with a blanket that had the royal crest on it. And you didn't think to tell me at any point? No, because I don't want to be royalty. But you have to be. Where is this all coming from? How did you find out? It's part of my task, okay? We both need the money. Just come with me. We won't need it if we're royalty. I'm so close to finishing, please. Only if you give me 25% of the prize. Fine. Oh, uh, you're back? Yeah, I am. And you brought your sister. Sup, motherfuckers? Tonight we will have the ceremony to officially crown you guys. Tonight? You guys cannot just kick us out <laughs> like this. 
It's already too late. Congratulations, you are now crowned. This is the craziest thing to ever happen to us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do I have to keep this on like all the time because it really hurts my head? I can take your order when you're ready. Can I just get a number six? Of course. Is that all? Yeah. Uh, we give out a free dum-dum with each order. Thanks. Hey, what can I- Wait, weren't you here yesterday too? You remember me? I don't think I could forget. Let me guess, you want to get a number six. How did you know? I have no idea. It must have been <laughs> luck. And here's your dum-dum. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, look, it's my favorite customer. Stop, you're making me blush. So, what's your name? If you don't mind that, I'm asking. It's Bailey. I don't mind. My name's Lucas. You should try the number one instead. It's my favorite. You know what? Sure. Enjoy the dum-dum and have a good day. You too. I can help who's next. Oh, hi. Where's Lucas? He moved to a different location. He doesn't work here anymore. Um, do you think you could tell me the new location that he works at? No, I can't disclose that information. Sorry. Could you move if you don't mind? There's people in line behind you. Wait, but what about the free dum-dum with each order? I'm sorry, we don't do that here. I'm never going to be able to find him again. There's like 300 locations just in my area. Are you excited to start your new job today? Yes, I can't wait to meet everyone. You'll be amazing, don't worry. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome to your first day on the job. I'll give you guys a few minutes to get to know your co-workers. Um, excuse me, have we met before? I'm not sure, I don't think so. I'm sorry, it's just that you look really familiar for some reason. Maybe we met before or something. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, my name is Bailey. I go by my middle name, Will. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, everybody, it's time to get started with the work day. See you later. Yeah, of course. Whoa, did you design that by yourself? Uh, yeah, I did. It's beautiful. You have a lot of talent. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now that I think of it, I definitely remember you from somewhere. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Hopefully. This is going to bother me for the rest of the day. We were lucky enough today to get a catered lunch for every single one of you. <gasps> they have dum-dums! <laughs> uh, Bailey, is something wrong? Lucas? I can take your order when you're ready. Can I just get a number six? Of course. Is that all? Yeah. Uh, we give out a free dum-dum with each order. Thanks. Hey, what can I- Wait, weren't you here yesterday too? You remember me? I don't think I could forget. Let me guess, you want to get a number six. How did you know? I have no idea. It must have been <laughs> luck. And here's your dum-dum. Have a good day. Thank you. Aw, oh, look, it's my favorite customer. Stop, you're making me blush. So, what's your name? If you don't mind that, I'm asking. It's Bailey. I don't mind. My name's Lucas. You should try the number one instead. It's my favorite. You know what? Sure. Enjoy the dum-dum and have a good day. You too. I can help who's next. Oh, hi. Where's Lucas? He moved to a different location. He doesn't work here anymore. Um, do you think you could tell me the new location that he works at? No, I can't disclose that information. Sorry. Could you move if you don't mind? There's people in line behind you. Wait, but what about the free dum-dum with each order? I'm sorry, we don't do that here. I'm never going to be able to find him again. There's like 300 locations just in my area. Are you excited to start your new job today? Yes, I can't wait to meet everyone. You'll be amazing, don't worry. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome to your first day on the job. I'll give you guys a few minutes to get to know your co-workers. Um, excuse me, have we met before? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm sorry, it's just that you look really familiar for some reason. Maybe we met before or something. Well, anyway, my name is Bailey. I go by my middle name, Will. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, everybody, it's time to get started with the work day. See you later. Yeah, of course. Whoa, did you design that by yourself? Uh, yeah, I did. It's beautiful. You have a lot of talent. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now that I think of it, I definitely remember you from somewhere. 
I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Hopefully, this is gonna bother me for the rest of the day. We were lucky enough today to get a catered lunch for every single one of you. <gasps> they have dum-dums! <laughs> Uh, Bailey, is something wrong? Lucas? <laughs> really? That's it? Who even cares? It's just hair. This game is such a joke. Sis, can I do something for a task? Yes, but why do you have scissors? I need to cut your hair. Why would you need a piece of my hair? Hmm, I don't know. That's <laughs> creepy. Why would I do that? I mean, if it wants me to, I will. Where are you going with my hair? Uh, don't worry about it. It's a task. The last 10 are the hardest. Be careful. I'm really not worried about that. DNA results will be back in three days. Okay, thank you. Hi, um, I'm here for my results. You're the girl from three days ago. Come with me to the back. Why? I'll tell you when we're back there. Listen, you are not who you think you are. I'm sorry I'm not following here. Do you know the story of that lost royal family? Yeah, who doesn't know that story? Your DNA matched up with the queen. What? Don't tell me you think I'm royalty. There is no what if. Your DNA lined up perfectly. Just let me see the test. I cannot give this to you. I'm sorry. Why? I, it's confidential. You just can't have it. But I need it. If I give you this document, you have to rule. Rule what? You have to give up your everyday life and rule all of us as royalty. I guess I really don't have a choice. Do not tell anyone you got that from me. Okay, I won't. Break in! I'm going to get arrested, thank you. They left the door open? Idiots. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ma'am, what are you doing in here? Um, housekeeping... Yeah, right. Wait, no, please, I can explain. I am a princess. Oh my god, you're right. Your eyes. My eyes? My eyes? What do you mean, my eyes? Come with me right now. We have something to do. Okay. Uh, where are we going? We're going to walk in there and stop the family meeting. Oh, we're going to what? I mean, we can't just barge in. That's, like, rude, right? No, the crown must go to the rightful ruler. <laughs> Everyone, the lost princess has been found. <laughs> Hi. This is ridiculous. I mean, look at the way she's dressed. She's emo. Who says a princess can't be emo? She's not fit to be royalty with that attitude. But look at the color of her eyes. That can't be. They are almost identical to her mother's. Her mother? Guards, I want this girl out of here right now. I'm going to overrule you guys. You can't just proclaim things like that. Well, I just did. She's kind of badass. Apparently, I am the rightful ruler, and I want to take that place. That's not going to happen. I don't believe you. I need proof. Fine. Show her my DNA test. But this test says that there's two from the royal bloodline. Two? What do you mean, two? Do you have any siblings? Not half ones. Yeah, I have a full sister. There's no way. You both are royalty. What? How is it possible that both of you ended up together? I don't know. We were left on a doorstep. Your sister must agree to rule with you. Mm, there is no way my sister is going to do that. Well, who wouldn't want to be royalty? Her? Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. You must at least try. Okay, but I'm warning you, it's not going to work. I'll be back in with my sister to overrule you. Whatever. Get her out of my sight. Mm. Sis, I have something to tell you. Okay, that didn't sound good. You know how we were adopted? Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, so we're actually part of the lost royal family. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I already knew that. I'm sorry, what do you mean that you already knew? Oh, because we were left with a blanket that had the royal crest on it. And you didn't think to tell me at any point? No, because I don't want to be royalty. But you have to be. Where is this all coming from? How did you find out? It's part of my task, okay? We both need the money. Just come with me. We won't need it if we're royalty. I'm so close to finishing, please. Only if you give me 25% of the prize. Fine. Oh, uh, you're back? Yeah, I am. And you brought your sister. Sup, motherfuckers? Tonight we will have the ceremony to officially crown you guys. Tonight? You guys cannot just kick us out <laughs> like this. It's already too late. Congratulations, you are now crowned. 
This is the craziest thing to ever happen to us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do I have to keep this on like all the time because it really hurts my head? Ugh, my mouth tastes like salmon. Who eats fish for breakfast? Oh my god, I don't think that's fair. Why are you chugging water like a toddler? Are you okay? No! I think my soulmate's doing something that I really don't want to be a part of. What could they possibly be doing? Never mind. I thought this was cherry. Why does it taste alcoholic? Who does shots at 2 p.m., bro? Get a grip! <coughs> oh my god. Please don't tell me that was the devil's lettuce. Is my soulmate Chuck Bass? I'm so confused. Your soulmate is really putting you through it, huh? I am going through it and I'm afraid of what's next. My soulmate just ate mochi. It was so good. Oh, this one's really weird. It tastes like um, like metal a little bit. Why would they eat metal? Oh my God. Sis, did you forget to flush the toilet again? It stinks. She's not even home. What is that? Do they live on a farm? Oh, why does it smell like that? I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the day. Hey guys, what's up? Dude, why are you plugging your nose like that? You don't wanna know. You can't just hold your nose for the rest of the day. Yes, I can, and I will. I won't talk to you if you keep doing that. Ugh. I regretted that immediately. What are you freaking out about? It smells like pee. It's not your soulmate's fault. They're probably just walking outside. But I have to deal with it too. Not the fish again. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're a freak. What the f I can't do this anymore. Ah, why is it spicy? You are being so dramatic. I'm going to throw up. Headphones? What? I don't want these. Wait, did these let me hear what my soulmate is hearing? I love being nosy. The total today for your hemorrhoid cream is 100. I don't think I was supposed to hear that conversation. Maybe it'll be better this time. Bro, did you ever get that crazy rash on your ass figured out? I think I'm gonna put these away. My soulmate was looking at engagement rings for me. An engagement ring? But you haven't even met yet. I heard him tell the seller he was buying it for his soulmate. So has your soulmate said anything fun? I don't know, I haven't put them on yet. Are you crazy? Put them on right now. You have to hear what they're doing. Okay. Oh yeah, baby, that's the spot. Ah! What, what were they saying? Is it bad? I gotta go, I'm gonna go wash out my ears with bleach. How did you only get one brain cell today? <laughs> it's like there's no thoughts in your head. Do you just think of sparkles and rainbows? Yes. Bailey, you got a zero on your test. You just wrote slave for every answer. Mm -hmm. On this one, you didn't even write anything. You just drew a smiley face. You look so pale. Here, put on some blush. Um, what are you doing? That is definitely not how you're supposed to use it. It goes on your face. You know what? Yeah, you're doing great, sweetie. Try this lip gloss instead. Okay. No, you just have to twist to open it. None of these things are edible. They're for your face. Not your teeth. You need to wipe that off. Drink this to get it off your teeth. What the fuck? You're supposed to drink it out of the top? Okay, what? Please, please stop doing that. I will be right back. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. Okay. What? Who gave her a lighter? She lit her hair on fire. You got two brain cells? It doesn't look like the second one is doing much. Hey, Bailey, you have to listen to everything I say today, okay? Okay. Guys, this is my life-size Malibu Barbie doll. Give them away. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, I want one. She even has some signature slogans. Roast beef. I don't think that's one of them. How about we try a different phrase? Are you my daddy? Sorry, she must be malfunctioning or something. Let's just try a nice normal one. Boobies. Okay, seriously, what are we, fourth graders? Oh, she can do some tricks too. Show them. Um, why is she making that face? <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? So if she's like a robot doll, she must be smart. What's the capital of the U.S.? Barbie land. Um, no, that's not the capital. Mommy milkers. Why is she looking at me like that? I will kill your entire family. Finally, you got brain cells today. The Eiffel Tower has 1,710 steps. Bitch, what? Watching TV burns 10% more calories than sleeping. Wait a second. 
Tell me another fun fact. Flamingos can only eat with their heads upside down. You're like a walking encyclopedia. Follow me right now. That sounds delightful. First to guess how many jelly beans are in this Ferrari gets to keep it. So how many jelly beans are inside the car? 1,425,789. That's exactly right. Enjoy your new Ferrari. Wait, can you do my homework too? Done. How did you finish that in two seconds? Huh, what else do you know? A pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. Okay, maybe let's not repeat that one. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? 364. This is so cool. You know everything. Human corpses can continue to move for a year after death. Okay, someone turn her off now. You can't be stupid again today. You have to lead us in the debate. Those seven brain cells better do the work. Bro, she cannot compete. She's as smart as a toenail. Hey, Bailey, what you doing? Magic. Yeah, we're screwed. I'd like both parties to present themselves to everyone. Hi, I enjoy sleeping and eating. Dude, what? This is going to be such an easy win. I love pineapple on pizza. Give me your thoughts on saving the economy. I believe we should replace currency with selfies. Interesting take. How would that work? Sexy selfies are worth more than ugly selfies. Wow, that's brilliant. If you could elect one person to become president, who would it be? Taylor Swift. Good job, that was the only right answer. Bailey has won the debate for her team. This has got to be a prank. Where are the cameras? Oh, of course you would get 69 brain cells. We have to go, come on. Slay. Bailey, you're giving a tour to the freshmen today. Give me one margarita, I'ma open my legs. Let's not encourage the freshmen to do that. Is our tour guide okay? Why is she biting a makeup brush? Carrot and cottage cheese. I'm scared to go to high school because I'm ugly and everyone bullies me. That's so real. Aren't you supposed to tell me it'll be better? Does that mean you think I'm ugly? Duh. What? Duh. You don't have to yell. So, does this school have a mascot? I'm just Ken. Sweet, I want a Mojo Dojo Casa house. Does everyone in high school act like this? Bailey, I'm gonna have to revoke your position as tour guide. This is so sick and fucking twisted! Um, what is that? A crystal. Okay, please leave. I don't wanna go to high school. Did she just dab? Hey, yo, she got the moves. Mom, can you come pick me up? Yes, finally you're smart again. A cockroach has the ability to live for one year without its head. Okay, anyway, come with me. I have an idea. Welcome to Jeopardy. Today's contestants are Bailey and Steve. What do you call a group of giraffes? What is a tower? Yes, that's correct. What is the largest type of frog? What is a goliath frog? That is also correct. What is the name of the dragon that helps Mulan? Who is Mushu? Looks like we have a winner. I didn't even get to answer anything. Congratulations, Bailey. You won $2 million. The dollar bill was invented in 1862. Do you know which lottery ticket is the winning one? That one. Oh my God, you're right. We just won the jackpot of $10 million. It's like you're a robot. Scotland chose the unicorn as its national animal. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Humans spend an average of one year on the toilet in their lifetime. Ew! How are you so smart but so stupid at the same time? Fruit Loops are all the same flavor, despite their different colors. What? My whole life has been a lie! Four brain cells? Are you kidding me? You're basically a toddler. Spaghetti. This is gonna be a long day. Is there even, like, a single thought behind those eyes? I smell like beef. Okay, so the answer is no. Bailey, put the fire down right now. Bad, bad girl. Oh my god, please, please do not cry. It's fine, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay? Everyone will need to draw a portrait for their art final. Slay the house down. Everyone, please show me. Uh, Bailey, you literally made handsome Squidward. See. Why don't you try again and just draw the first thing that comes to your mind right now? Murder. Okay, maybe not that. Seriously, how do you even keep getting a lighter? Put it down. Oh, you're smart. Can you please take my midterm from me? I'm gonna fail. In five years, you're gonna start balding. Um, what? How do you know that? I know everything in the universe. Like you can see into the future? Am I finally gonna get a boyfriend? No, but you will adopt 13 cats. Are you kidding me? I don't wanna die alone. Please tell me that you're lying. I'm incapable of lying. Everyone, I'm selling psychic readings for $20. Am I gonna have my dream job in five years? You'll be living in your parents' basement with a receding hairline. My hairline can't recede, I already have a big forehead. Can you tell me something cool about the future? Taylor Swift will be elected president in 2030. <gasps> Sweet! Tommy is my boyfriend! What kind of job am I gonna have? You'll go viral on TikTok for using Gorilla Glue to glue a wig down. Wait, that's such a good idea. It'll stay forever then. What about me? Where will I be? You'll be dead. What? You've got to be kidding. Why would you say that? I'm just kidding. I thought that you couldn't lie. Or am I?
Bailey, thank gosh you're here. Is there a tampon in your nose? Take that out right now. Put on this apron and get to work. We need you. Cha 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 kong. Ah! Stop messing around. Put your apron on the right way. Is butter a carb? I'm losing brain cells just talking to you. Hi, can I please get an iced latte? I like apples and bananas. Wow, that's great. Um, are you gonna make my coffee? I don't want that. You just took a sip out of it. Oh, sorry. Dude, what the fuck? Do you guys have any baristas that aren't insane? Could I get a number six, please? Are we even real? Okay, I came here for food, not an existential crisis. Yummy, yummy. Is this a joke? Are you trying to poison me right now? Because I will call corporate on you. Let me speak to your manager. Okay, one second. What are you doing? Hi, I'm the manager. Oh, you think you're so funny, huh? I'm gonna give you guys one star on Yelp. You are acting like a child. <gasps> an ugly, pimply bitch. Hello. Finally, are you gonna be normal today? I'm Peppa Pig. <sighs> And this is Daddy Pig. Nope, you're still weird. Today you're babysitting the neighbor kids. You can take a ride on my big green tractor. I feel so sorry for them. Hey, what are you holding? You put this up your... Okay, let's not tell the kids that. Where do babies come from? I don't know. I looked up pictures on Google and it was really scary. What's two plus two? Oh, six. I'm not good at math, but I definitely don't think it's six. Can you get me a drink? I'm thirsty. Um, that's peanut butter. At this point, I feel like I'm babysitting you. Can we play Barbies together? No, no, that is not how you play with a Barbie. You have to be nice to her. Oh my God. Mom, can you please come home right now? I'm so scared. How'd you even get the Barbie to stay like that? Abracadabra. I think your six brain cells are just doing the Cotton Eye Joe in there. Hello, and welcome to your Harvard interview. Hola, me amo Bailey. You're bilingual? That's amazing. I seem to have lost my pen. Do you have one I could borrow? How did you fit a lamp into your bag? You're a wizard, Harry. And you have a sense of humor. Great. You are Kenneth. We love people that support mental health. Tell me something about yourself. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Oh my gosh, I'm a huge Bill Nye fan too. Slugs are just divorced snails. I've never thought about it that way. It's true. Do you have any other talents? I want to ride. I want to ride. Horseback riding. I love it. Of course you do. What is your greatest strength? Gaslighting. Persuasive. We would love to offer you a spot at Harvard in the fall. Do you want to play mermaids? I've been waiting for that question my whole life. I don't exist. Um, what, what are you doing? I can take your order when you're ready. Can I just get a number six? Of course. Is that all? Yeah. Uh, we give out a free dum-dum with each order. Thanks. Hey, what can I- Wait, weren't you here yesterday too? You remember me? I don't think I could forget. Let me guess, you want to get a number six. How did you know? I have no idea. It must have been <laughs> luck. And here's your dum-dum. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, look, it's my favorite customer. Stop, you're making me blush. So, what's your name? If you don't mind that I'm asking. It's Bailey. I don't mind. My name's Lucas. You should try the number one instead. It's my favorite. You know what? Sure. Enjoy the dum-dum and have a good day. You too. I can help who's next. Oh, hi. Where's Lucas? He moved to a different location. He doesn't work here anymore. Um, do you think you could tell me the new location that he works at? No, I can't disclose that information. Sorry. Could you move if you don't mind? There's people in line behind you. Wait, but what about the free dum-dum with each order? I'm sorry, we don't do that here. I'm never gonna be able to find him again. There's like 300 locations just in my area. Are you excited to start your new job today? Yes, I can't wait to meet everyone. You'll be amazing, don't worry. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome to your first day on the job. I'll give you guys a few minutes to get to know your coworkers. Um, excuse me, have we met before? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm sorry, it's just that you look really familiar for some reason. Maybe we met before or something. Well, anyway, my name is Bailey. I go by my middle name, Will. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, everybody, it's time to get started with the work day. See you later. Yeah, of course. Whoa, did you design that by yourself? Uh, yeah, I did. It's beautiful. You have a lot of talent. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now that I think of it, I definitely remember you from somewhere. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Hopefully. This is going to bother me for the rest of the day. We were lucky enough today to get a catered lunch for every single one of you. <gasps> they have dum-dums! <laughs>
Uh, Bailey, is something wrong? Lucas? 7 1? What, is my soulmate Bigfoot or something? Man's is like a walking skyscraper. My soulmate's only 5 4! Aw, uh, Short King. No, it's not cute! Why not? All of my kids are gonna be so short! <laughs> well, it's better than the ugly gene that you're gonna give them. <gasps> I am not ugly! Um, who are you looking for? My soulmate. That's how you're gonna find him? You know, I don't think I could miss him. He is 7'1". That is so funny considering you're like 4'11", right? Okay, first of all, I'm 5'2". Thank you. Maybe he's like an NBA player. I really hope so. Bro, are you drinking from a salsa jar? 7'1's not like that tall, right? Are you dumb? That's really tall. <laughs> What's with all the commotion? Dude, there's a guy in the hall that literally looks like Slenderman. My soulmate! Excuse me, sorry, excuse me, I need to get through. We all want to talk to him, wait your turn. He's definitely not going to talk to you when you look like Shrek. What? Shrek? <sighs> Bro, he's literally built like the Eiffel Tower. Well, how tall do you think he actually is? It's got to be over seven feet. Can y'all stop shoving me like this is the Hunger Games? It's a dude! Wah, wah, wah. These girls are going feral for him. I'm not going to be able to get to him. Um, I think I know how we can. How? Here, get onto my shoulders. <laughs> okay. Are you sure this is safe? Nope, not at all. Okay. Hey, moving skyscraper, wait up. Hey, Bailey, how's the weather up there? Shut up. Sir, hi, how tall are you? Um, 7'3". Ugh. What? Do you have something against tall guys? Oh, I'm sorry. That just means that you're not my soulmate. How tall is your soulmate? 7'1". Oh, my brother 7'1". A brother? So, where's your brother at? Um, I don't know. He didn't come with me. What do you mean you don't know? It's, like, urgent. Why do you care so much about where my brother is? Hard to explain. You are so weird. I'm out. Uh, wait, please. Bro, no. You're freaking me out. Can you just leave me alone? Okay, I'm sorry. So, do you want to get down, or... Yes, I want to get off your shoulders. Whatever, he looked like a grasshopper, and his brother probably does, too. You're just mad he didn't like you. Do you think that the brother goes here, too? <laughs> Who knows, but he's 7-1. I'll see him. Yeah, but will he even see you? What do you mean? You're just, like, so much shorter than him. I've had enough of the short slander. This is so annoying. Oh, my God, there's two of them! Two of who? We need to get his attention, now. Throw something at him. Okay. Not a glass. Oh! Bro, are you kidding me? Which one of you just threw a glass at my head? Should we run? Um, I think so. Yeah, okay. You two, stop right there! So are you the one who threw the glass? <laughs> Guilty. You need to come with us to the office now. Damn, we got caught. There was like 12 witnesses. Thanks to you, he now has a concussion. He has a concussion? I just wanted to get his attention. So you throw the most dangerous thing you could find. It seemed like a better idea at the time. Wait, are you the girl who's been harassing my brother? Ah, uh, no, it wasn't me. Who else would have purple hair? Shit. Could you just tell me why you did it? Because I needed to talk to you. To me? About what? How tall is your soulmate? Um, I am not telling you that. Just tell me. It says 5'2". Wait, don't tell me you think that we're soulmates. Surprise! No way, you are not going to be my soulmate. What's that supposed to mean? You are obviously some kind of crazy. I don't like it. That is not true. I told you why I threw the glass. Yeah, but that doesn't justify it. Uh, well... I am so done with this game you're playing, I'm leaving. No, wait! So, um, I don't think he's gonna press charges. He didn't seem very concussed. That's the girl who threw the glass. <gasps> really? Why are y'all whispering about me when I'm right here? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know you could hear us. Of course I can hear you! It's just embarrassing that you were so desperate for attention. Whatever, it's also embarrassing that your hair looks like that. My hair is $3,000! Me! Um, I think that our plan may have backfired a little. Yeah, just like the smallest bit. I know he's my soulmate. I just need a new plan. What? It's not like you can go after his twin. Wait. No, do not tell me that. Hey, you. What? Are you going to throw a glass at my head, too? No. 
You're gonna use me to get my brother. No, that's not what I'm doing at all. I promise. It's clear you're just desperate for a soulmate. No, I was trying to get your attention all along. I just thought you were really cute. Wait, really? Would you want to hang out with me? Yeah, yeah, love to. Here's my number. Thanks. That was, like, suspiciously easy. No, there's got to be a catch, right? There definitely is. He just said that I was harassing him, and he agrees that fast? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're cute. I know. Oh my gosh, what if he, like, murders you or something? Okay, let's not manifest that for me. Thanks. It should be one, four. Yep, this is it. Hey, uh, welcome in. <laughs> Hi. Both of you? Listen, we just have a few things to ask you. So, why are you such a whore? Excuse me? Uh, I'm just messing with you. That's not one of the questions. Okay, not funny, but go on. You need to tell me how tall your best friend is. She's 5'6", why? Because my soulmate is 5'6", too. Don't tell me you think she's your soulmate. She might be if you're my brother's. I already said I don't want you as a soulmate. I don't want you either, Skyscraper. So, can you help me here? No. What? Why not? <sighs> I just don't want to. It's because she's a selfish bitch. Can he leave the room? Because he's really killing the vibes. Yeah, bro, get out of here. Listen, I'll help you get my best friend if you help me get your brother. Ah, okay, I guess I can help you. Fine. Deal. Just don't throw any more glasses at his head. I know, that was a one-time thing, I swear. Hmm, I have an idea. I need to go find my best friend. Can you convince your brother not to hate me? I will try my best. Okay, thanks. Bestie. Hey, what's up? I have some tea. Do you want to hear it? Um, yes, always. Do you know that kid who's 7'3"? How could I not? I heard he has a crush on you. Oh, I'm not interested. He's not really my type. What do you mean he's not your type? He's so tall. Yeah, but it's like a little too tall. Didn't you just call your soulmate a walking skyscraper? No, I love men that are two feet taller than me. Right. Just forget it, okay? I don't want him. Wait, please. I'll pay you. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking here? A thousand dollars. Oh, absolutely. I'll do whatever. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna be dirt poor. This is so dumb. He's not my soulmate anyway. Mine's 5'9". Wait, what? Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. I'm going to pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! No, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. Hey, are you okay? No, no, I can't pick that. Maybe I should have accepted the first one that it gave me. What's the reason that it gave you? I can't even say it. If it's that bad, just trust your gut and decline it. But what if it gives me this one? If you decline it, it has to refresh your reason. Okay, I'll decline it. Please don't be happy. What? What is it? It says none. What do you mean that it says none? It just says N-A. What, like you're just never gonna die? It just must be some kind of mistake. Maybe it doesn't load right? I don't think there are any mistakes. I don't want to live forever. All of you are going to be gone. I don't think you have another choice. Who is banging on the door right now? Hello? You're under arrest. Under arrest? Under arrest for what? You have the wrong person. Does your reason say none? Um, yeah. Then we have the right person. Come on. Stay right here so we can start questioning. Okay. So, what did you do to be immortal forever? I didn't do anything. I just declined the options I got. 
Lying is only going to make this harder for both of us. I'm not lying. What did you do to hack into the system? I did not hack the system. I could barely log on to my computer correctly. Ugh, you're a stubborn one, aren't you? I'm not stubborn. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Are you going to tell us what we need to know or not? I've been telling you the truth this whole time. This is ridiculous. Wait, guys, she is telling the truth. You took the wrong girl. Oh, then we have to wipe her memory. What? Oh, I need to brush my teeth. My breath stinks. Wow, why do I look like Christina Aguilera? 2007, that was like a lot of years ago. Is this real? Sis, let's go. You're gonna be late for school. School? I can't go to school like this. You look fine. Stop being dramatic. Let's go. Are you guys texting on blackberries? Duh, blackberries are so cool right now. I heard that they're coming out with this thing called the iPhone and there's no buttons on it. Like the first iPhone? It's supposed to be a huge deal. Did you guys see that Rihanna just released a new song? Really? Which one? It's called Umbrella. I really like it. Have you heard it? Yeah, it's great. Oh, I hope that my crush likes my new post. Oh, where did you post it? TikTok? Um, what's that? I posted it on MySpace. Please don't put me in 2007 again. Oh, great. We went even further back in time? Wow, that is a lot of glitter. And why are my lips so pale? Bailey, your makeup looks so good today. I love the eyeshadow. Uh, yeah, thanks. I think my mom's gonna get us the new gaming system coming out. What gaming system? It's called the Xbox 360. I'm excited. That sounds super cool. Can't wait. It's so futuristic. Wait, do you guys know who Taylor Swift is? No, does she go to school here or something? Oh, I love Kanye West so much. You like Kanye West? Yeah, his new song Gold Digger just came out. I am obsessed with it. Mm. Could you feed my Tamagotchi while I go to the bathroom? I don't want it to die. I would love to. Want to come over after school? We're going to drink beer and watch VHS tapes. You know what? I'm good. Okay, I just want 2011. What? 2002, I was an infant. What happened to my eyebrow? What are you talking about? They look great. I have like six hairs left. Yeah, thin eyebrows are all the rage right now. I love them. Do you at least have something to fix my lips? Why would you need to fix them? You're already wearing lip gloss. Now let's go. Please tell me you're not using a Nokia. This is the best phone on the market right now. What else would I use? I have the biggest crush on Justin Timberlake. Who's your crush? Uh, Harry Styles. Who the hell is Harry Styles? He was a skater boy, she said, see? You know that song? Yeah, it came out like a month ago. I'm so obsessed with it. I keep hearing it on the radio. Yeah, me too. You, everyone run. It's Jessica. She is so emo. What's wrong with being emo? 2011, at least I can have an iPhone now. Avril, what are you doing? We're gonna be late. Where am I? Hey, are you ready yet? We have to leave for your interview, like now. Interview about what? Don't play dumb about your new single, What the Hell? Give me one second. I thought I was waking up in different years, not different bodies. Am I a part of the conspiracy theory? I have 30 seconds, let's go. Coming. Are you sure that you're ready for this interview? You seem kind of off. Yeah, I am so ready. I've never been more ready in my life. Excuse me, Avril, I am such a big fan. Could you sign this? Sure, there you go. Um, I think that you spelled your name wrong. No, I didn't. Everyone, please welcome Miss Avril Levine. How do you feel about the release of your new single? Good. Uh, how was your experience making this song in the studio? Ah, great. How do you feel about being so iconic in the pop punk space? Amazing. I'm scared to even look. 2012, why would I need to be in 2012? Taylor, are you done in there? We need to go. Who's Taylor? Don't tell me I'm in someone's body again. Miss Swift, you've been in there 40 minutes. Miss Swift, no. There you are. The car is waiting for you outside. Where are we going? To your live performance. Don't tell me you forgot. Great. You know, I'm not feeling too well. I don't think a live performance is a good idea. Are you kidding me? This is going to be huge. You have to do it. Stop goofing around. Now follow me and we can go. Mm, coming. Can't we just like switch to an interview? <laughs> what is wrong with you today? Are you feeling all right? Nothing. I'm fine. You have five minutes in the dressing room and then we'll be back for you. Mm -hmm. How do I get out of here right now? I think I can fit out this window. Are you trying to climb out of a window right now? No. Really, because you had your head out there. Ugh, my hair is itching my neck. Whoa! What the hell am I wearing? 
I can take your order when you're ready. Can I just get a number six? Of course. Is that all? Yeah. Uh, we give out a free dum dum with each order. Thanks. Hey, what can I? Wait, weren't you here yesterday too? You remember me? I don't think I could forget. Let me guess. You want to get a number six? How did you know? I have no idea. It must have been <laughs> luck. And here's your dum dum. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, look! It's my favorite customer. Stop! You're making me blush. So, what's your name? If you don't mind that I'm asking. It's Bailey. I don't mind. My name's Lucas. You should try the number one instead. It's my favorite. You know what? Sure. Enjoy the dum dum and have a good day. You too. I can help. Who's next? Oh, hi. Where's Lucas? He moved to a different location. He doesn't work here anymore. Um, do you think you could tell me the new location that he works at? No, I can't disclose that information. Sorry. Could you move if you don't mind? There's people in line behind you. Wait, but what about the free dum dum with each order? I'm sorry, we don't do that here. I'm never gonna be able to find him again. There's like 300 locations just in my area. Are you excited to start your new job today? Yes, I can't wait to meet everyone. You'll be amazing. Don't worry. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Welcome to your first day on the job. I'll give you guys a few minutes to get to know your coworkers. Um, excuse me. Have we met before? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm sorry. It's just that you look really familiar for some reason. Maybe we met before or something. Well, anyway, my name is Bailey. I go by my middle name, Will. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, everybody. It's time to get started with the work day. See you later. Yeah, of course. Whoa! Did you design that by yourself? Uh, yeah, I did. It's beautiful. You have a lot of talent. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now that I think of it, I definitely remember you from somewhere. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Hopefully, this is gonna bother me for the rest of the day. We were lucky enough today to get a catered lunch for every single one of you. <gasps> They have dum dums. <laughs> Uh, Bailey, is something wrong? Lucas? Twenty dollars to me or my mom. I don't really need it right now, so maybe she can use it. Hey, that bracelet is so cute. When did you get it? Oh, I used the twenty dollars that I got this morning to go and buy it. What did you get? I gave my twenty to my mom, so nothing. That's cute or whatever, but I needed this bracelet. Do you see how cute it is? A new car? What? Well, if I give it to my mom, she'll probably just give me her old one. So. Dude, there is no way you gave that one to your mom too. I'm gonna get a G wagon for my car. <sighs> Wait, why aren't you taking any of them for yourself? I don't know. I'm happy with what I have, so it's fine. Okay, you are insane if you give this one to your mom too. Well, I'm probably still gonna live with her anyway, so it's our house. You have fun with that. I'm gonna go live in a mansion, okay? I just know you're gonna <laughs> regret that. Ooh, I could get a mansion on the beach. Um, did you just get another one too? Um, no, I only got the three questions before. I think I just got ten million dollars. Um, what? What do you mean? It just says plus ten million dollars. Dude, what? You are so lucky. You have to give me some of that. You can have some. I can't keep it all, but I have to tell my mom. Why do you give everything to your mom? You should keep it for yourself instead. Maybe I want to. Okay, I love her. I want some of the money too. Yeah, you better give me some for lunch. Me too. Um, I have to go. Honey, I'm sorry, but there's leftovers in the fridge for dinner. I didn't have enough money for a new meal tonight. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Why? What are you talking about? Check the bank account. How many zeros is that? Ten million dollars? Where did you get all of this from? Thank you so much. This is gonna change our lives. I love you. You guys need to give me all of the money right now. Whoa! Hang on a second. You need to transfer all ten million dollars into my account by the end of the day, or else. Save my mom or save all the money. You have to keep all the money, sweetheart. It'll change your life. No, mom, I can't do that to you. At least I would die knowing that you'll stay happy. I'm sorry. We can find money another way. No way! You actually just gave me all of the money. See you later, suckers. I can't believe you just did that for me. I love you. Of course, I love you. We need to find some other way to make money. I'll get a second job. It'll be fine. I'll be happy with anything as long as it's with you. Me too. Bailey, I heard a rumor that you actually lost all the money. Yeah, it's true. 
I bet you're so jealous now that you have nothing. I have such a nice car and a house. Whatever. You are just so dumb. I would have saved all the money over my mom. You know what? Even if I did have the money, I wouldn't have given any of it to you. Why? What? You said that you would. You're just kind of a bitch. Um, excuse me? $20 to me or my mom. I don't really need it right now, so maybe she can use it. Hey, that bracelet is so cute. When did you get it? Oh, I used the $20 that I got this morning to go and buy it. What did you get? I gave my 20 to my mom, so nothing. That's cute or whatever, but I needed this bracelet. Do you see how cute it is? A new car, what? Well, if I give it to my mom, she'll probably just give me her old one, so... Dude, there is no way you gave that one to your mom, too. I'm gonna get a G-Wagon for my car. <sighs> Wait, why aren't you taking any of them for yourself? I don't know, I'm happy with what I have, so it's fine. Okay, you are insane if you give this one to your mom, too. Well, I'm probably still gonna live with her anyway, so it's our house. You have fun with that? I'm gonna go live in a mansion, okay? I just know you're gonna <laughs> regret that. Ooh, I could get a mansion on the beach. Um, did you just get another one, too? Um, no, I only got the three questions before. I think I just got $10 million. Um, what? What do you mean? It just says plus $10 million. Dude, what? You are so lucky. You have to give me some of that. You can have some. I can't keep it all, but I have to tell my mom. Why do you give everything to your mom? You should keep it for yourself instead. Maybe I want to, okay? I love her. I want some of the money, too. Yeah, you better give me some for lunch. Me, too. Um, I have to go. Honey, I'm sorry, but there's leftovers in the fridge for dinner. I didn't have enough money for a new meal tonight. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Why? What are you talking about? Check the bank account. How many zeros is that? Ten million dollars? Where did you get all of this from? Thank you so much. This is going to change our lives. I love you. You guys need to give me all of the money right now. Whoa, hang on a second. You need to transfer all ten million dollars into my account by the end of the day or else. Save my mom or save all the money. You have to keep all the money, sweetheart. It'll change your life. No, mom, I can't do that to you. At least I would die knowing that you'll stay happy. I'm sorry, we can find money another way. No way, you actually just gave me all of the money. See you later, suckers. I can't believe you just did that for me. I love you. Of course, I love you. We need to find some other way to make money. I'll get a second job, it'll be fine. I'll be happy with anything, as long as it's with you. Me too. Bailey, I heard a rumor that you actually lost all the money. Yeah, it's true. I bet you're so jealous now that you have nothing. I have such a nice car and a house. Whatever. You are just so dumb. I would have saved all the money over my mom. You know what? Even if I did have the money, I wouldn't have given any of it to you. Why? What? You said that you would. You're just kind of a bitch. Um, excuse me? Ugh, my mouth tastes like salmon. Who eats fish for breakfast? Oh my god, I don't think that's fair. Why are you chugging water like a toddler? Are you okay? No! I think my soulmate's doing something that I really don't want to be a part of. What could they possibly be doing? Never mind. I thought this was cherry. Why does it taste alcoholic? Who does shots at 2 p.m., bro? Get a grip! <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Please don't tell me that was the devil's lettuce. Is my soulmate Chuck Bass? I'm so confused. Your soulmate is really putting you through it, huh? I am going through it and I'm afraid of what's next. My soulmate just ate mochi. It was so good. Oh, this one's really weird. It tastes like um like metal a little bit. Why would they eat metal? Oh my god! Sis, did you forget to flush the toilet again? It stinks. She's not even home. What is that? Do they live on a farm? Oh, why does it smell like that? I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the day. Hey guys, what's up? Dude, why are you plugging your nose like that? You don't wanna know. You can't just hold your nose for the rest of the day. Yes, I can, and I will. I won't talk to you if you keep doing that. <sighs> I regretted that immediately. What are you freaking out about? It smells like pee. It's not your soulmate's fault. They're probably just walking outside. But I have to deal with it too. Not the fish again. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're a freak. What the f I can't do this anymore. Ah, why is it spicy? You are being so dramatic. I'm gonna throw up. Headphones, what? I don't want these. 
Wait, did these let me hear what my soulmate is hearing? I love being nosy. The total today for your hemorrhoid cream is 100. I don't think I was supposed to hear that conversation. Maybe it'll be better this time. Bro, did you ever get that crazy rash on your ass figured out? I think I'm gonna put these away. My soulmate was looking at engagement rings for me. An engagement ring? But you haven't even met yet. I heard him tell the seller he was buying it for his soulmate. So has your soulmate said anything fun? I don't know, I haven't put them on yet. Are you crazy? Put them on right now. Mm. You have to hear what they're doing. Okay. Oh yeah, baby, that's the spot. Ah! What, what were they saying? Is it bad? I gotta go, I'm gonna go wash out my ears with bleach. Is this some kind of joke? I'm not being called ugly forever. Decline. Sis, I already accepted my name, the first one. Really? What was it? Sandra, isn't that pretty? Like that girl from Greece? That's so cute. My first one was ugly. Oh, well, you accepted it, right? No, why would I accept it? I mean, it's true, you are ugly. No. Be careful, don't run out of choices. Please, I'm sure the next one's gonna be better than that. Anything is. Another one? Short stuff? I'm not even that short, I'm 5'3". The third one better be good. Hey, mom, do you know what happens when you run out of name choices? We don't know. Some people think that you die. Oh. Uh, why are you asking? I've already declined two of them. They were terrible. You cannot decline the third one, whatever you do. Please don't be fat. Please. Idiot? My last one cannot be idiot. I can't take that. This name is your final option. You have to accept it. I don't want to be called idiot for the rest of my life. You really don't have a choice at this point. Well, what really happens when you run out of names? No one's ever run out, but you could die. That seems a little dramatic. I don't think you should be the one to find out. I'm gonna do it. Please don't kill me. I'm okay. Good, what happened with your name? Um, hello, what happened to the name? It picked one for me instead. Your reaction's making me think it's not good. It says car accident. <laughs> That's not even a name. There's got to be some way I can change that, right? <laughs> not that I know of, car accident. Become nameless. You should just become nameless. I don't know if I want to have no name forever. Well, what is the other option? Being called car accident. There has got to be some way I can change it myself. I know where you can go. Bro, where did you come from? Don't worry about that. You need to go to this address alone. You want me to pull up to a random sketchy address alone? I promise they can change your name for you. Okay, I'll do it. Mm. At the door, the password is cheese. Cheese? Really? Okay. Um, oh. Hello, what's the password? Uh... Cheese? Oh, yes. Come right this way. So, what do you want? I need to change my name, like, really badly. I can do that, but you're gonna have to pay. Pay, like, how much money? No, not with money. The only way to get a new name is to steal one from someone you know. What? 